Oh, goodness. I think I lost them. I need to find the mandal herb quickly. Uh, I need to get this wound cleaned. Uh, and healed if I need to run faster. Those damn hunters. I need to find that herb now. Ah, oh, I can hear them. I need to go quickly. What's that? Someone's here. I don't have any weapons on me. There has to be something. Ah. There's... This rock looks pretty sharp. I'm sure this could work. Ah, come on, Alana. You've got this. Just wait. Listen to their footsteps. Okay. One. Two. Three. Stop or else I'll... Ah? Oh? A human? In this part of the forest? Since... Since when? Uh, I've lost too much blood. I can't go any further. No, no, please. Leave me be. Those hunters will think you're my associate and hurt you too. I've bled for at least an hour or two. I can't feel my legs. My body's becoming numb. I... I can't go on much farther. I'll be fine. Just uh, go on. Act as if you've never seen me. Just go on your merry way. <laughs> You're a persistent one, aren't you? <laughs> and what exactly are you going to do, huh? Eh? Heal my wound? Perform some necromancy magic on me? Oh, oh okay, you're lifting me up. <laughs> ah, easy there. I'm wounded. What are you doing? Where are you taking me? A cottage? Where? There's not a single building out here. We're in the forest. You're not after my bounty, are you? Oh, dear, I shouldn't have mentioned that. Ah, uh, my head hurts. Too much to process. <laughs> I don't think I'll be conscious for too long. I hope you're strong, buddy. A half alcohol like me is very heavy. You're a strange one, aren't you? I guess maybe that's why we cross paths. I'm quite crazy myself, but... Definitely not one picking up bleeding strangers in a dangerous forest. <sighs> oh, look! <laughs> guess you were right. There is a cottage here. Who would be so brave enough to have a cottage in the middle of the forest? Uh. You may enter. Hello, dear traveller. How can I get that piece of filth out of my cottage? I do not care if she's bleeding out or on the verge of death. That thing is an orc. Orc folk are not welcome here. If it is medical assistance you desire, I'm afraid I cannot help you. Why? Why? 
My reason for refusing is none of your concern. Now, get out of my cottage, or else you shall regret bringing such monstrosity into my humble abode. I have no obligation to help it. I may be a retired pharmacist, but that does not mean I have to help her. <sighs> All right, fine. Just be quiet with your pleads already. It's starting to give me a headache. I cannot believe I'm going to say this. <sighs> Bring her in. You heard what I said. Bring her in and place her on the examination table in the back. This will be the first and last time I touch such creatures. Come on, this way. Set her down here. Now I suggest that you wait outside. The wound on her side is quite terrible. She's lost a lot of blood and she needs sanguine herbs, which I unfortunately do not have in my possession. You've never heard of such herbs? Well, <laughs> they're basically blood herbs sacred and rare. The elves once used sanguine herbs in the Great War. When the elven king got sick, they used it in order to heal him. They are the rarest of their kind. Once outsiders knew about the power these herbs possessed, everyone was driven mad. Sanguine herbs are cursed. The fact that such a small feeble plant could hold so much power to turn an entire generation into bloodthirsty barbarians. Now, leave us. I will try my best to help your friend survive. But without that herb, I cannot promise a successful surgery. Now, if you'll excuse us, I have a wound to take care of. Don't worry, she's fine. She's resting. Calm your nerves, young man. Tell me, is she your lover? Ah, I see. So you met her in the forest, running away from hunters, I believe? Oh, don't look so shocked, traveller. It's pretty common around these parts for hunters to stalk orcs for their bounties. Here, have a seat. Would you like some tea? If tea isn't up to your taste, then I could prepare another beverage for you. Of course, just a moment. There you go. Please, enjoy. I hope you like it. Thank you. It's a special kind of blend that I created. Secret recipes passed down from my great-grandmother. Now, listen carefully, dearest guest. Orcs are not welcome in these parts of the woods for they aren't loved by the survivors who live here. Yes, survivors, I am one of them. A pleasure to meet you. I am Tristan. You see, this part of the forest was once the home to a small, peaceful town, Asmar. It was a town known for its interest in trading, healing, and magic. I was nothing but a humble pharmacist, helping those in need. I was well known by many people due to my knowledge in magic and medicine. Everyone was living peacefully, until that one unfaithful day. During the Great War, the orcs had infiltrated the village. Crops destroyed, innocents slaughtered, buildings torn and burned to the ground my family taken away from me because of those monsters. I've 
become bitter towards them. They'd taken everything away from me. So instead of getting revenge, I decided to have mercy and simply ignore them. And besides, that's what the hunters are there. Uh, where am I? What are you doing awake? Medicine should have knocked you out for another four hours. Oh. The medicine? If you use the sedative, well, sedatives aren't really effective for a half up like me. They work differently. You know? Whoa. Careful! <laughs> oh, hey, it's you. You're the one I met in the forest. Uh, thanks, I guess. I'd never expect someone like you would come to my aid. Especially since I'm part orc. Part orc? I don't understand. How does that work? A human would never... That's the thing. I'm not someone's offspring. I'm simply an experiment. A, uh, hybrid of sorts, you know? I believe you both have overstayed your welcome. I've done what he asked. I've healed you to the best of my abilities, and you seem to be recovering quicker than I expected. I believe you two can see yourselves out. I'm a very busy person. Now, leave. Oh, don't worry. We won't stay here any longer. We'll leave right away. Oh, and, uh, thank you for, uh, pushing aside your hatred and healing me. I can see why you're so popular. How did you? Oh, <laughs> well, actually, I woke up earlier than expected and overheard your conversation while in bed. Orcs have excellent hearing and... I think I've heard enough. Now, if you could both, oh so kindly, leave my cottage, that would be much appreciated. Ah. <laughs> hey, uh, sweetheart, could you be there and hold the door for me? Thank you. Uh, I... I don't want to take much of your time, but, uh, again, thank you for healing me. It's not every day people would show acts of kindness like this. I am terribly sorry about what happened. But I can assure you that I was not part of it. I'm simply an experiment, and considering your intelligence and your kindness, I don't think you deserve it. No one deserved to have such terrible things happen to them. Anyway, <laughs> I'll... I'll get going. Um, if you're gonna be going with me, I'll be waiting outside. Okay. Mm. Wait, traveler. A word, if you please. I never got your name. I want to give you a word of advice. Beware of the woman from stone. She is a great danger. Be wary of the people you meet and those whom you trust. Farewell, traveller. And take care of that orc. Make sure she doesn't die.
he is fated for a terrible end. <laughs>